Okay, so today we're going to talk about Libra and sex, what turns a Libra on, if you have Mars in Libra, Venus in Libra, or you just have a lot of Libra, you relate to this video within some regard. Um, so, yeah, Libras can be super flirty, super fun, you know, let's think Venus, let's think the seventh house, one-to-one, -one. they're really good at one-to-one -one sort of relationships, so therefore they're one-to-one -one comes out well within the bedroom, do you know what I mean? They're very good at giving a one-to-one -one experience sexually. Um, but Libra is a very social sign, so maybe they might like a few more people in the bedroom. I feel Libra can be very experimental uh, in the bedroom because they're so social, but they can also be extremely picky and fussy because they do like things the way that they like them. They don't want to be out of balance. So that's where they're super fussy this sort of comes in and they're like overthink they, they kind of will overthink that they overthink balance which makes them overthink because they're trying to keep everything like this but they have to understand that that's not the way life goes and that's not the way that sex goes either um but at the end of the day like they're super charming in the bedroom everybody knows labors are charming um they've always got a date they've, they're always you know people are always interested in libra because they'll charm the pants off you within a conversation you're not even in bed with them yet you know they're great talkers and they never over talk you know it's just like it's literally the perfect right amount it's the right amount of flirting um you know they're provocative in like a quiet kind of way um but you know they're very creative as well and they will be creative in the bedroom and sex is you know like like a Leo, you know, it's kind of like an art form to them. And they they can be very sensual as well because I don't think they like it too rough, Libras. They're a very gentle, feminine kind of sign. And, you know, even within a, a male, you know, that's still a beautiful thing. Um, they're very gentle and feminine and I don't think they like to get too too rough. But, um, you know, it depends. It depends on everything. So, but that's just, you know, from what I've seen. Uh, and, you know, they're... The atmosphere is really important, like I think, like the setting, like they really do like a nice Venetian kind of setting, like nice things, nice bed, nice house, like they do like that because I think it just sort of creates the balance for the scene, the sexual scene that they're about to have. And they also like enjoy role play, so I think that's, um, well they can enjoy role play, that's where the atmosphere sort of comes into it as well. Uh, what that role play is will depend on sort of everything else, but you know, they do like mucking around, they like great, they can be great actors, so you know, a Libra could maybe also be known to fake it sometimes, it just, just depends, and be really good at faking it, but hey, why would you want to do that? But you know, if it, if it works out and it keeps the balance, they'll do it. Um, they're willing to give to you sexually in the bedroom, but they expect just as much back, which I'm sure we've all gathered from the amount of times we've said balance. So they're going to be really pissed off if you don't give back. You're not going to work for them. It's not going to work. If you don't want to give them as much of the time of day. I mean, I'm, I'm talking like to the minute. Do you know what I mean? Like they spend an hour on you. They expect an hour back. But they're just going to be like, oh, well, I spent like an hour on you. And you spent like 10 minutes on me. Like, that's, I'm out of here. Like, you know, like they're, they're just not going to be cool with that. But they're not probably not going to let you know. They're just going to like avoid you because Libras don't want that confrontation. Um... They also don't like confrontation in the bedroom either. So they're literally, they're just not going to say anything until it's over. <laughs> um, but, you know, they like sex to be fun as well because they like a very friendly experience, I find. Like, they, they like to laugh, like, during the bedroom. They like to have a good time and have that Venetian experience. Um... But yeah, I do think they, they, they can be a little bit too fussy with picking a sexual partner, but because Libras are so charming and most of the time pretty attractive, uh, they usually have copious amounts of people to choose from most of the time. The sexual partners are always flowing in, so they don't usually have to worry most of the time about being fussy because it's almost like... They're so charming that they get to be fussy because they get to choose. Um, which is, you know, some other zodiac signs might say, well, that's just unfair. And some Libras might say, well, I'm not like that. But it's almost like Libras don't even realize 
how many people are interested in them because they don't even realize how much they flirt. So, sort of like a Gemini in that way. Gemini can be very flirty as well. But, um, you know, they are a super caring lover as well and a caring sexual partner because if you sexually care for them, then they're going to sexually care for you. You know, so like, if it's a good give and take and sex is enjoyable for them, then they're probably going to stick with you because they're going to like that. Do you know what I mean? It's going to, they know they're going to get back what they give. So what more does a Libra want? They've found the balance, so they're probably going to stay there for a while. Um, but yeah, I think as long as you're sort of like, creative and you smell nice and you're clean and you give back and maybe you don't mind a little bit of role play and you and you like a Libra's charm then you know you're probably going to be the perfect partner for a Libra but you know like I said it depends on on everything and I'm only speaking about sexual aspects alone so we just have to remember that when when we listen to all of these videos because there'll be some parts you relate to and some parts you won't but you have to put the whole story together anyway thank you